guys and welcome to Resident Evil Village. My name is Narcus and if you're interested we do stream this over at twitch.tv forward slash Narcus underscore oh one. We are going to watch the recap for Resident Evil 7 so sit back and enjoy and then we'll jump into the game. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. And then bitch she went psycho. Right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. Welcome to the family, the son. Who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Now it's over now. All right. <clears throat> We're ready. He didn't say nothing about him getting his hand chopped off and using some healing aid to just sprinkle over his sore hand, right? Do I let you, uh, evil people, <laughs> pick the difficulty? I don't let you pick the difficulty. So we go uh, we we go average then, right? Like hardcore. Standard is probably best. Nice. See I always I'm always tempted to go full full hardcore, but let's we'll go standard. We'll go standard. Village of Shadows. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father. Who was hard at work. Oh, I know I'm not. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. But we'd get through it. Empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through oh, the grave, this is how she became the big, big, titted lady. Turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared. And with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate, 
and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, Thank you about she that, Jinx. soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Okay. Just you gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. Did not feel resident evilly. With the creepy story, she's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, <coughs> Poor baby. Because she doesn't understand. Yo, Shinobi, how's it going, dude? We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Whoa. Alright. You're just being paranoid. You're snapping at me for a lady. Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'm doing very well, man. How are you? I'll finish dinner. All right, let me know if the N in the top right hand corner annoys you people. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. So that's that's Mia, right? That's the Mia, the crazy lady. Oh, I'm sorry. Psycho wife, yeah. I'm That's not what's happened. I couldn't remember, because can't you choose whether to save her or not or save the lady? Is Resident Evil A to Resident... Yes. You play the same character. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. <sighs> My taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. Should probably go put the baby to bed before we investigate the whole house, right? Can you see? Can you see the stream tonight, Shinobi? This is my baby. This is Gemma. Audio only. No worries. Why, Dad? Why me, Dad? Why? Uh, first child and all that? And you're in the stream? Mm, could be Abby, I suppose. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Needs glasses to be Gemma. Oh, for in shade. I think 1080p is probably the highest quality, right? Don't think I can stream from PC in 4K. Not sure, though. Can stream directly from my PlayStation in 4K. Drugs. Here 
your mama and I love this song so much. Almost there, honey. Nice, dude. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, again, have not played it properly. I've not played Odyssey at all, in fact. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Daughter's gonna freeze to death. Uh, do you want me to read all these? Kinda don't want to, cause there'll be a lot. The world is magnificent. Best in the series. Nice. Now I get that you probably should read these. But there's gonna be a lot of stuff to read, right? Let me know. Rose is fine. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. It's true. I won't bother reading them all, to be honest. No worries. There'll be a lot. Just like the little documents you find in Resident Evil. All the little stuff. Alright, it's just doing the same thing. I've pressed two different buttons. <clears throat> all the little documents you find in Resident Evil, there's usually quite a lot of them. I'm sitting there reading them all. will probably take up a long time in the stream. Oh, let's change my outfit. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to wear any of those. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Probably should make that our bedroom too, dude. We don't want a shower. Okay. Honey. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum, the local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, the military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously? Think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <laughs> what the fuck? Mia! Get down! Mia! Yo, there's a fucking baby in this house, bro. Oh God. Chris Redfield. 
Boom. What the hell? Sorry. No. What? Why? Move. Good night, Shinobi, dude. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you I think you just got a divorce, mate. Yeah, me too. Take him away. And Take lost him my daughter. Ethan, no. The fuck are you doing, Chris? Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. It's all in my head, apparently. We hardly talk about anything else. Have a little dream while we snooze. That I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Um, just move that air, yeah, move out of the way. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'll just about damn time. What's your status? The package thing. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You're a top It's a mobile, bro. It's not that secure. It's not like you're talking to me on a radio. What the hell happened to you? Um, eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses. Winterses? Sisses? Sisses? What the fuck? Move the two Winters. Wouldn't it just be Winters? To Site C for further investigation, at least two transport officers to accompany them. Okay, we can crouch. Doesn't seem to be letting me go in there, though. Yes, we go up.
Okay. Oh no, Ethan, it's always your hand. I put our handlers get fucked up, right? Hello? Oh, do you know what, Muriel? I did know there was werewolves in this. It's very weird, isn't it? Like, it's not Resident Evil anymore. It's not zombies and shit anymore. Definitely changed to something else. Poor Cedric. Poor Cedric the Crow. All the poor Cedrics. Save the poor thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a murder of crows, bro. He murdered Cedric. Um, hello? Uh, I'm a bit lost. Can you help me? Hello? I'm just gonna walk across a creepy bridge. It's okay. I think you need to tidy up your garden. Dude, you probably shouldn't walk into other people's houses like that. Like, you know, it's pretty rude. Should you not learn from the last time you did shit like this? I know, right? Main characters don't give a shit. They're just like, oh, this is now my house. I'm gonna go through all your shit. Fuck, right, I ever keep standing on something, or something keeps breaking, dude. Right, seriously, 
you guys came into you walk up here would you carry on walking for a creepy fucking house blood on the floor dead crows all the way there like people need to realize that this shit doesn't work you die I know, right? You like you just don't do this shit. Especially, right? Especially if you've already been through this shit once. Anybody want a banana? Orange? No? Sure? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, look. Garlic? Some garlic? We might need some garlic. Pick that shit up. I'm guessing there's nothing to find on there. I'm not in your house. I got lost and disorientated. Yeah, let's let's just open the blood blooded locker. Nah, it's a mouse. Half expected someone to be behind me. There doesn't seem to be anywhere to go. Fuck you. So, what I was going to say is it doesn't look like there is anything way to go. So something's going to happen as I start going backwards. And then the fucking roof caved in. There's definitely nowhere to go over here, right? No, okay. We've got to go back. So was that hand, dude? What did all this? I don't fucking know, bro. Who closed that? I left that open. Doesn't look as dark outside, though. 